Stephen Roy, a medical doctor, was stabbed to death barely 24 hours after his convocation at the University of Lagos. Welcome to Roots TV Roundup. I am Aisha Jabrin. Before starting the news in details, here's a look at our top stories. Justice for Stephen Ray. Justice for who? Justice for Stephen. Onogen resigns. 99% of pensioners are yet to be paid. Medical doctor Uraya Steven was stabbed to death by suspected armed robbers at an ATM point barely 24 hours after his convocation at the University of Lagos. Prior to his death, Steven was a house officer with the Lagos University Teaching Hospital where he graduated in December 2018. Following Steven's murder, similar reports have surfaced, suggesting that many others, especially staff and students of the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital, have been robbed in the past at Canal Road, the exact scene of Steven's murder. Heartfelt condolences have poured in on social media with many demanding justice for Stephen. Suspended Chief Justice of Nigeria, Walter Onogen, has tendered his resignation letter to President Wamu Dubari. Sources from the presidency confirmed that Onogen resigned on Thursday, 4th of April 2019. It can be recalled that the National Judicial Council on the 3rd of April recommended the compulsory retirement of Onogen to the president. The NJC, however, requested that President Buhari allow Onogen retain his seat as former CJN in the Council of State, which entitles him to full retirement benefits estimated at 2 5 billion naira. Justice Onogen was suspended for false declaration of assets and is currently facing criminal charges bordering on financial impropriety and undue enrichment. The National Assembly is currently investigating a pension scam which has resulted in 99% of pensioners going unpaid. The House of Representatives has asked the Governor of the Central Bank, Godwin Mefele, and the Accountant General of Federation, Ahmed Idris, to appear before it over alleged discrepancies in the remittance of 33 billion naira by the National Pension Commission. I, I can imagine how people who have worked to serve this nation just to get their pension. It's, it's a problem. Some have died in the process, not even able to pay their medical bill, just able to buy medicine. Because uh, somebody is sitting, taking decision without thinking about others. President Mahmoud Dubari has expressed concern over Nigeria's annual loss of 400 billion naira to medical tourism, especially through the large amount of Nigerians seeking medical care outside the country. He made this statement through the Plateau State Governor Simon Lalong during the inauguration of the Senior Executive Course of the National Institute of Policy and Strategic Studies in Jos Plateau State. The President urged the Institute to provide solutions to improve the framework for quality healthcare delivery in Nigeria. President Dubari also revealed that in January 2019, his government launched a primary health care revitalization program with the aim of having 10,000 functioning primary health care facilities nationwide. The program is expected to focus on women, children under age 5 years and elders in rural areas. He reassured Nigerians of his administration's dedication to improving health care delivery nationwide. And now to some business stories with Togimo Edit. Welcome to Business News, I am Itogi Moore Edit. Nigeria imported 5.32 billion litres of petrol in the fourth quarter of 2018. The National Bureau of Statistics also reported that 1.3 billion litres of diesel, 114.19 million litres of kerosene and 267.80 million litres of aviation fuel were imported during the period. Meanwhile, oil prices declined on Friday with Brent slipping from the $70 mark reached the previous day but both main contractors set for the weekly gains on mounting geopolitical risk. Brent crude futures dropped 25 cent to $69.15 a barrel, having touched $70.03 in the previous session, its high since November 12. Investors have expressed disappointment over the plummeting share of Medview Airline PLC. The company's result release at the Nigerian Stock Exchange on Friday showed loss after taxation of 10.3 billion naira, as against 1.2 billion naira profit before tax. 
The Nigerian Communications Commission says it plans to introduce an Internet Industry Code of Practice. The NTC, which is the regulatory authority in the nation's telecommunications industry, said that the successful operation of the policy would curb the increasing spate of cyber crimes and would also protect the right of the child, individual privacy in the cyberspace and host of authors. The equities market closed Friday on a positive note as the NSC All Share Index appreciated by 0.21 percent, it closed at 29,616.38 points, as again 0.39 percent appreciation recorded previously. And that's all for business news. I am Mitogi Mo. Edit is back to the main news. And that's all on Roots TV Roundup. But before we go, a recap of our top stories. What Justice for Stephen Ray. Justice for who? Justice for Stephen. Onoge resigns. 99% of pensioners are yet to be paid. For more news updates, subscribe to our YouTube page, Roots TV Nigeria. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Roots TV Nigeria. I am Aisha Jibrin.